When Priyanka thinks about her neighbourhood, there's a lot to love and a lot she wants to change. She lives on a beautiful peninsula with great views of the water. And because her city enjoys warm weather most of the year, she can spend a lot of time outside, enjoying the scenery that makes her home great. But she wishes her bus line didn't stop right before the hill she has to schlep up every day. And don't get her started on the lack of affordable housing, she can't bear to look at Zillow. Still, Priyanka knows it's hard to change those things. The peninsula makes it difficult to expand in most directions, as does a feud with the neighbouring town over their dividing border. These problems aren't new. Priyanka knows that many cities are built near coastlines due to transportation and ecological benefits, even if it's created other issues. See, Priyanka is an urban geographer. Her job involves looking at cities and towns at every level, from the natural formations that might, say, make walking or housing tricky, to the cultural, political and economic patterns that shape urban life. Priyanka is always thinking about where she lives, why it exists in the exact way it does, and how that affects the people who live there. That means understanding how cute little hills make some construction projects harder, and at the same time, her calf muscles stronger. It also means thinking of new ways to make walking easier, like additional footpaths with railings and how they would fit into her community. Like most geographers, she knows that places are all about the gear and take between people and the world around us. And her journey toward battling perilous slopes started with a degree in geography. Hi, I'm Vanessa Hill, and welcome to Fast Guides, a study hall series that explores different college majors. In this episode, we'll be talking all about the mountains you can summit and the oceans you can cross with a geography degree. When people think about geography, they normally think about maps, but there's a lot more to geography than plotting coordinates and making sure X marks the spot. Geography is the study of the Earth's physical features and atmosphere, along with how it shapes and is shaped by human activity. From the depths of icy glaciers to the bustling streets of Karachi, geographers closely inspect our world, and their work goes far beyond what we can see. Geographers look at everything from soil to weather patterns to languages to economic and political systems to understand how where we live affects how we live. And if you stop and think about it, we're interacting with our environments every day. For example, when Priyanka leaves her apartment, she heads down the hill to the nearest bus stop. The lack of closer bus lines is a problem, but at least it's warm outside. Her town is close to the equator, the imaginary line that divides the northern and southern hemispheres. Being close to the equator means temperatures are usually above 64 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 18 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile, Michael, who works at Priyanka's favourite bagel store, takes an electric scooter to the shop. He started scooting to deal with the hills, but now it's an important part of his daily routine. On the way to work, Michael passes by the beloved spot where he took guitar lessons growing up. The environments we live and move in affect everything we do. And the ways that we live and move affect our environments too. Geographers help us understand and navigate this intertwined relationship. To do that, geography majors use theories and perspectives from the social sciences, humanities and natural sciences. Think of these areas as vital supplies, ones that will be critical for navigating the deserts and tundras of geography. And like we've already said, shaping a place is a two-way street. People grow food, build communities, and establish societies in ways that change the natural world we inhabit. I mean, think about how many tunnels we've built. Geographers turn to many fields, including law, economics, biology, and psychology, to explain that complex relationship. 
If that sounds like geography is telling the stories of the Earth, you're right. That's because both science and society are in a constant state of changing and being changed by geography. And if you decide to become a geography major, you'll get to dig to uncover those answers too. Geography majors start navigating rainforests and taiga early, through intro courses in areas like environmental science. From there, students get into their foundational courses, like human geography. That means focusing on the spatial relationship between human activity and the natural environment, like urban sprawl or political disputes over water access. That insight tailors well with hard sciences, which is why geography majors also take geology and earth science classes, which will help you better understand physical geography. Those courses are where students learn about the natural processes that help shape the world around us, like studying about geysers in New Zealand, or how underwater volcanoes birth new islands. Unfortunately, I don't think they'll pay you to study hobbit holes. It's pretty common to take additional classes in things like world languages and history to help you understand global societies and cultures. You'll also likely be studying some math, engineering, and computer science. These areas help students master the technical aspects of geography, like measuring human impact on the world's forests, or how much climate change has caused glaciers to melt. Students also learn to work with technologies that are specific to geography, like Geographic Information Systems, or GIS. GIS are specialized computer systems that are used to describe spaces and compare data points, which is really important in our current age of digital maps and GPS. So yes, geography does involve maps, but like really cool maps. While GIS might make you think of using Google Maps to navigate your city, it's about more than helping people get from point A to point B. For instance, GIS is used to find communities where vaccination rates are low, trace how dialects have moved over time, or to identify rural towns that don't have easy access to grocery stores. Geography majors also learn how to present important data like this in ways that everyone can understand. Geographers may go from sharing data with city officials to putting together campaigns to help educate communities. That's why geography students also take courses in writing, web design, and graphic design. So geography students are not only learning how to look at and understand spaces, they're also learning how to present them to the public through maps and other media. If it sounds like a geography degree is flexible, that's because it is. Geography degrees also complement many other concentrations and majors. You could combine a geography degree with a business degree to gain a clearer picture of where different consumer markets live, for example. Or you could pair geography with engineering to find solutions to transportation problems in urban areas. And majors in education, computer science, and biology all benefit from studying geography too. Understanding spaces and how they form is useful across many fields. Students who choose geography majors often take more focused, specialized courses by the end of their majors. That's because there are different types of geography. And since those areas can be pretty complicated, many students decide to specialize in one topic or subfield. For instance, if you're intrigued about how diseases spread and preventing future pandemics, medical geography might be appealing. Then there's political geography, which looks at issues like how former colonies interacted with former empires. But those aren't the only concentrations geography majors can choose. As previously mentioned, you could study physical geography or human geography, or you could specialize in GIS and mapping, or even sustainability. Each of these fields will give you the specialized knowledge you'll need to look closely at the world. And they'll help you draw conclusions about everything from why bananas grow best in places like Guatemala to why Finland is often ranked as one of the happiest countries. Successful geography majors are curious about how humans interact with our surroundings, but they're also curious about the humanities and sciences broadly. If you love your history, biology, and government classes alike, that could be a sign that geography is right for you. 
Part of that also means finding innovative ways to use technology to study different parts of the world, from remote spaces to bustling city centres. Like we talked about earlier, many geographers use computers to make sense of geographical data. And as new technology comes onto the scene, geographers should be ready to experiment with how to use it to give us new perspectives on the world around us. Maybe they can figure out why I keep tripping over the same buckle in the sidewalk by my house despite living there for two years. But technology can only get you so far. Successful geography majors also work hard to develop their analytical and critical thinking skills too. Being willing to use those skills while working alone or in a team is also important. Some geography professionals trek out to the Alps alone, while others work together closely to map out food deserts. All of which is to say, if you're curious about why a deeply cold country could inspire so much joy, how climate affects food, or even if you're just invested in making sure that Google Maps doesn't keep sending you into a field of cows, you could be a great fit for a geography major. But before you set off on your journey to navigate the streams and wetlands of geography, you should keep a few things in mind. Majoring in geography can be really rewarding, but it's good to be prepared for potential bumps in the road on the way to your degree. Since geography combines so many different fields, it's possible that you might land in a class that isn't exactly your strength. For instance, you may be a math whiz, but not great at social sciences. Or you may struggle with computer programs, which could make some of your classes feel challenging. The good news is this will likely happen for all budding geographers, which could be a great opportunity to form study groups and learn course material together. Additionally, geography can be an emotionally tough degree. Geography majors learn how to design solutions that help our environment and the people living in it. But that also means that they have to confront really complicated issues like poverty, hunger, and racial inequality. And sometimes those problems can be hard to stomach, like planning for a future where we aren't able to mitigate climate change, or figuring out how many people live in food deserts where fresh food isn't available, in order to get more options onto people's tables. That can be overwhelming as a student. But people who stick with the major are focused on how they can also get to be a part of the solution to problems like these. Focusing on what you can do to help can give you the courage you need to tackle these tough problems. And by overcoming these potential roadblocks, you'll open the door to diverse and meaningful career possibilities. Because of their hands-on training and experience combining perspectives from multiple disciplines, geography graduates are equipped with valuable skills in analysis, critical thinking, writing, communication, and research. Private businesses, nonprofits, research institutions, and even the government need professionals with geographical knowledge and skills. So you can expect to find jobs for geographers in all kinds of places, from national parks to major corporations. According to the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, you'll qualify for most entry-level geography positions and jobs in the federal government with a bachelor's degree in geography. And the field is growing with salaries to match. As of 2022, the median annual wage for geographers was $88,000 per year. So where does that land a geography major? Well, you could work with the US Geological Survey or the US Forest Service. Geography professionals are crucial to monitoring changes to the Earth and helping us understand the consequences of those changes. Salaries for those agency jobs range with title and experience level, but are around $68,000 or $77,000 per year as of 2024. You could also work as a surveyor to provide geographical data for construction companies, engineering firms, or map making. Those salaries averaged out to around $63,000 as of 2022. A geography degree also prepares you to become an environmental consultant. In this role, you could help manufacturing companies assess environmental liabilities and use safe practices when building new facilities. Salaries here average around $75,000, with top earners going on to make much more. And if you want to increase your versatility as a job applicant, you can always get a master's in geography or GIS systems. This can help you qualify for more advanced positions earlier in your career. Whether you're living your dreams at the Grand Canyon or you're up the coast 
post at Google. Geography professionals get to do traditional office work and field work. To gather data on the environment, geographers often have to go outside. They may haul equipment out to lakes, forests, mountains, or building sites to observe geographical phenomena in real time. Significant time is also spent on interpreting and presenting data in office settings. Geographers use GIS and other systems to help decision makers, like CEOs or government officials, make effective decisions for the Earth and human populations. Basically, there are hundreds of occupations that require skills and knowledge in geography. And right now, the demand for these workers keeps growing. Of course, average salaries vary depending on your experience, where you live, and the industry that you work in. But with the need for geographers on the rise, there's a good chance you'll find a career that lets you put your skills to good use. Ultimately, whether you want to spend your days scoping out a Norwegian fjord or using advanced technology to optimize the best route to the grocery store, a geography degree can help you get to where you want to go. And when it comes down to it, geography majors do more than just show us how the Earth works with maps, graphs, and charts. They teach us how to plan with it, use it, and take care of it. And taking care of the Earth can also mean creating spaces that help us care for our communities too. With a geography degree, you'll be prepared and ready to embark on a career that's truly about creating a better tomorrow for the Earth and everyone on it. If you want to investigate more degrees before you choose a major, check out our other videos in this playlist. To find out how to earn college credit with Study Hall, go to gostudyhall.com or click on the link here or in the description. And if you want to help us out, give this video a like and a comment to let us know how you chose your degree or what you wish you'd known before you started your degree. Thanks for watching.